shop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button <laughs> i'm sitting here like a proud dad right now lincoln just got done with this piano lesson how's your piano lesson go good he did a wonderful job it's his third piano lesson and um uh and before this piano lesson i watched the interview with uh radio raheem and eddie hearn um and um he said he and he, I mean, he talked a lot, but I'm just going to talk about P7. I'll come back and probably do some, another video on it. But he said he and Al Heyman are working together. He says basically Deontay Wilde has three managers, and he's working with the main one, which is Al Heyman, to get this fight done. Now, I don't know when this fight is going to happen, but I will say this. Al Heyman and Eddie Hearn has made good business together. Um, Eddie, Al Heyman has realistically revitalized Eddie Hearn's promotional career. If you look at the lineage of um, Anthony Joshua's rise to success, it was through the IBF. If you look at Kell Brooks' rise, it was through the IBF. And both of those IBF belts came from an Al Heyman, Al Heyman fighters and subsequently protected, protected those IBF belts and keeping those belts over there. You know, similar to... What I thought Al Heyman wanted to do with Adrian Brown and Robert Easter and Rashid Warren was monopolize the Midwest. I believe um, uh, Eddie Hearn and Al Heyman want to monopolize across the pond. But more importantly, I think Al Heyman sees the bigger picture. And correct me if I'm wrong, put in the comment section. But he wants to he wants to monopolize both major networks. And how he monopolized both major networks is monopolize one force them to do business with you at a higher price and now you basically can set fight dates on both networks that that's what i believe uh al Heyman wants to do so at the end of the day similar to what al Heyman did in the, in the music industry you guys will never hear his name you guys had no idea he was behind lil wayne's biggest tour of all time um uh the jacksons and so many of our our great contemporary artists, and I think that's where Al Heyman wants to be. Now, this is pure speculation. I haven't obviously, you guys know I don't speak to Al Heyman, uh, but um, that's just pure speculation. But if he's working with him, the plan is already set. No matter what we say or what we do, honestly, the plan is already in place. Similar to Charles Martin getting the belt, and his next fight for four million dollars. Okay. is against uh Deontay so. Wilder so go figure you know and it uh Kell Brook never came back to America to defend his belt not by accident building the brand across the pond um Anthony Joshua has never come across here to defend his belt by design building the brand across the pond uh so anyways man um that's just my thoughts I, I think the plan is in place for that fight to happen I don't know when, how, or where, but Al Heyman sees the bigger picture, and everyone else is just like a uh, a piece on a chessboard, you know what I mean? And uh, he's dictating the terms, and he's everyone is eating, everyone is winning, but yet and still, uh, there's joy, and uh, this is just my interpretation. Al Heyman has joy in knowing that all roads go through him. And no one will ever, ever know. <laughs> Kaiser Sose, man, like in real life. Al Heyman is literally Kaiser Sose in real life. Because if you look at Eddie Hearn's rise to fame in the past three years, all Al Heyman, all because of Al Heyman. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Al Heyman and Eddie Hearn are working together on Anthony Joshua, uh, Deontay Wilder. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.